Okay, boo, boo, boo. Hi, everybody. All right, here's the deal. <clears throat> this is going to be a brutal stream. Not because I'm not excited for Outer Wilds. I'm incredibly excited for Outer Wilds. This is going to be a brutal stream for two reasons. One, I'm just super tired. I got used to my like winter break sleep schedule of just sleep for a while. And now I'm back to like having classes every day. I'm up at 7.30. I'm very tired, very sleepy. Um, but it's Friday, so now I get to sleep in tomorrow. Yippee. Um, main reason this is gonna be brutal. Our, it is January, which in most places of the world is cold, including this one usually. At home, it was below freezing for like a really long time and school isn't that far from my house. But it's a little warmer here than at home, but for some reason, we just got this bizarre heat wave here. And like today, it's been like mid, mid 70s. And my body is not ready for that yet so it's really wrecking my whole system because i have such bad circulation that changes in temperature is already pretty bad for me but what's struggling even more with the temperature change is my apartment building which is still convinced that it's wintry outside and it's like oh we got to heat this place up um god it's the worst so now it's okay in my apartment, it is like 75. And let me just say, before everyone starts freaking out, because last time I complained about it being like 80 or whatever in my like sophomore year building before they fixed the AC, I got a bunch of people who were like, um, you think 80 degrees is hot? I live in Australia. Let me explain the science of, of, of how bodies react to temperature for y'all before you gatekeep me feeling hot. Um, I grew up in a house that blasted AC always. I'm used to living in a house with the thermostat set to mid to low 60s. So that's what my body is used to. That is what my body has taken to be the optimal balance of temperature. So when it's 10 degrees hotter than that, I feel like dookie. So please do not come at me. And start saying last time I, I remember specifically because it, it it irked me so much. It was a Pokemon Scarlet stream where I said I'm really hot and feel dizzy because I'm because my room is 80 degrees. And then someone was like, "That's literally nothing. I live in Australia. It's not even hot. I, I I like I could do 80 degrees, no problem." And then I explained that I was like, "Well, freaking, I grew up in a colder place, so my body isn't ready for it." And then they were like, "Stop attacking me. I have anxiety." I was like, what do you mean? You just attacked me. Like, you can't, you can't have both. But anyway, I remember that. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. Uh, but yeah, like I am so hot. My skin is like glistening. I feel feverish. I'm like whack overheated. So I have two fans blasting at me from different angles. So unfortunately there's gonna be audible fan audio um, for this whole stream, which y'all know I hate. It's like my biggest pet peeve, but that's fine. It's more important that I don't literally faint while streaming. So yeah, I am on fire. I am, this is perfect music. I feel like I am melting. I'm dizzy. I'm tired. It's really hot. And we're going to play a game that's all about reading comprehension and observation. So... Uh, send send prayers to the P.O. box that I do not have. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pause my musica here. And I'm going to boot up Outer Wild. I have a friend who I hate going over to in the winter because it's so hot in their apartment. It's unbearable for me. Yeah, I'm so picky with temperature. Plus, like I've got chronic circulation problems. So it's not just that I'm a baby, as some people seem uh, eager to, to call me whenever I say I'm hot in not that hot temperatures. I've got chronic circulation issues. So my body is naturally very sensitive to temperature changes, especially heat. So I am really tired and I'm really hot and, and, and that's just how it's going to be. All right. I'm booting up outer wilds. 
Grab a controller. This game needs a controller for best experience. That's nice that they tell you that. I, f I had forgotten. Let me get my controller. Um, I'm excited, man. This game is beautiful, and I've heard only great things. I'm going to have to uh, change gears, because I'm, I'm used to like games where dialogue and, and stuff like that is not the main focus, so I like don't pay full attention to it. This game, the whole game is dialogue, pretty much. Like It's all about the dialogue. It's all about the reading. So I've got to make sure I'm paying attention to everything. got to make sure I'm reading everything, talking to people, doing all the things I usually don't do <laughs> when I'm playing video game. Video game. I'm just autistic as fuck. And weather is my main enemy. Yeah, I have a lot of issues. I have issues with that too. Just because of all my head problems, I'm very sensitive to changes in weather too. With all the migraines and the sinus and the wacky, wacky sackies. Oh, look at that. I wonder if that comes through the mic. Can you hear like a little squeak? Oh, it's kind of gone. Can you hear that? I don't know how loud it actually is. You probably can't hear it over the fans. Uh, but that's my eye. <laughs> it's my eyeball. Okay. Uh-oh. Game's really having a hard time booting up. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wow. My computer has a hard time opening this game. Wild Rod's best experience with a gamepad. Got you covered. I just plugged one in. All right. I'm switching over. Game capture. Outer Wilds. Very pretty. Skip. <laughs> We're off to a good start. Uh, adjust the slider until the image on the left is barely visible. That's fine. Alright, epic. No, we're not resuming. It's been literally a year. This sounds like the frickin' If I just lay here... No expedition. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright! Outer Wilds. If you spoil, you will be put in emote-only baby jail. Maybe even worse. This game... More than anything, more. this is more important than anything in the whole world. Do not spoil this game for me. Do not. I have been told numerous times by everyone I know who likes this game that it is imperative that I remain spoiler free. Oh, my chat broke. Freaking, there we go. Yeah, please. I'm really begging. This is the main one. Did I just take a rip on a jewel pod? Okay, some kind of weapon or thing just fired in the sky. I hope that that... I hope that that isn't coming from me. Okay, we got a flask to pass the time. A little note. I can roast a marshmallow. Oh, extend stick. What do you mean? Why did he spit it out? Okay. Are these people like marshmallow purists? That's garbage. I think the best roasted marshmallow is is the kind that you just torch. Whoops. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get one. Just gotta be gentle. Alright, how's that? Eh, let me There we go. How's that? Pretty good. All right, do I win? Is that it? Hello, Slate. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, judgmental. There's our pilot. That's me. Back from your pre-launch camp out under the stars, I see. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only last day you joined the space program. Suddenly here you are, blah, 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 blah. My first solo voyage. Ooh, the nerves. Gotta have that crunchy burnt sugar layer. It it's what makes it the best. You light it on fire and then you blow on it. That's like the quintessential t roasting a marshmallow experience. You torch it, blow on it, eat it, and then the adults always say something about like, I'm gonna give you cancer. Try it, dude. 
Cancer can't touch me. I'm hot. This is loud music. What do you say? Good. I say good. Ready to get this beauty off the ground? Uh, yeah, man. All systems go. Remember, if you wreck the ship, I'm not building you a new one. That's fine. I, I wouldn't expect that. Did you get the launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory. Launch codes from Hornfells at the observatory. Let's remember that. Oh! Let's remember that, everybody. I will forget. Okay, so this is what I need the launch codes for. Brilliant. I'm glad that I'm living inside like a... A, um... Like an insurance ad. Or like a pill that helps you poop normal. With this music. This is like some serious Kickstarter vibes. Giggling and kicking my feet right now. Oh, you're talking about someone in chat loving you. Sorry. I thought you meant about the marshmallow. Fly model ship. Horizontal thrust is the stick. I think they're dead. I think I killed whoever was in there. Okay. Hey, so this is like the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. So I can do that. Eh. 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 There we are. And then let's move over to this, uh, this one over here. Okay. And then, let's go into this. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I'm not leaving until I, until I slot it into the slippy slide. Boom! That goes down an awful long way. Okay. All right. All done. Oh, Jesus. Where did you come from? Wow, that was just like the time the external fuel tanks exploded on Reentry. <laughs> Same, man. You'll be okay flying the next big one, right? I could push you off this lead. That's a long way. It's a long way, Micah. That is a long way to fall. What the? Thought you broke the game. Nah, I'm just the cool one. I'm just the cool guy everyone loves to talk to. Who are you? Porphy. Hey, oh, hatchling. That's me, I guess. Here you're leaving us to seek adventure amongst the stars. When you return, let's you, me, and Gosan open up a bottle of the good stuff. Uh, good stuff is less delicious. I find a more daunting digestive challenge. Let's seek adventure amongst one star. One star. Hope you enjoy your travels. Do not tell me what to do. Cannot break into these people's homes. Uh, Outer Wilds Ventures presents postcards from orbit. Rutile. Actually blasting off in that thing, huh? Uh, yeah. They don't explode as often anymore. Shut up. Okay. Oh, this is cute. These are all the goodies we've brought back. Or maybe not brought back. I guess this is more like a sensory museum, but for baby space travelers. So it's like, this is the chair you'll sit in. Um, this is what will let you breathe. And this is the thing that'll explode and, and, and be crushed by immense pressure with you inside. You ever squeezed a tube of toothpaste? That's you. The toothpaste is you. Nice to meet you, man. So it's launch day, huh? How's going to miss you? Sure, probably. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. The platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you built a new, less flammable one? No. That big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. Oh, but the tree is pretty. Nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. What's wrong with the tree? Think it's due to the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? How dare you? Oh, he wants to chop that tree down. Pretty tree, though. It's a pretty tree. It's a pretty tree. These are like the hardest kinds of trees to climb. It's just like a straight shot. Are you... I forgot who I'm supposed to grab the goats <laughs> from. It's fine. It'll work out. I'll recognize the name when I see it. It's not you. That's for damn sure. Hello there, Space Cadet. Dude, my old baseball coach used to call someone on our team Space Cadet. Because he had that the helmet with, with the, like, protector that comes in front of your face. Uh, and it looks like a little, like, <laughs> microphone. And for some reason, it really killed me when I was, like, 13. When my friend would be saying something, he'd be like, All right, Space Cadet. <laughs> it's like my favorite shit in the world. 
Me and the other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, would you? Won't you? Tell me about it. I made all their instruments, you know. Let me see. There's Chert's drums, Rybeck's banjo, and Gabro's flute. Yep. These are all names I'd come up with, dude. And Feldspar's harmonica, of course. Though Feldspar's been missed for a long time. Oh, I'll, f I'll find him. Your music in space? That'll be one of the space programs of the travelers. I see. So if we pick up any music on our radar... Then there's a friend. I do recall that from my one stream. I'm going to try and not reference that as much as I can because it was so long ago and I don't want people to be like, I'm missing out on stuff. Yippee. Whee! Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was just fiddling. Okay. Um, that's where I came from. All right. Let's go up this way. This is the observatory. That's where I need to be. Howdy, partner. It's Tefra. Hello, astronaut. It is my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide-and-seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We may be it. Fuck it. Kalina and me will hide with these radios and use your signal scope to find us. Okay, so this is like a little how to use the signal scope tutorial. Bet? Okay, uh, equip signal scope. See you, little bastard. Eh. Bitch, it is so loud. It is so loud. You look like a bug. You look like a bug. What? There's another one. What up? I won. I'm happy. Thanks for playing with us. Speak up! <laughs> I'm assuming that uh, there is a high correlation between people who watch my videos and people who tend to be the quiet kid in school. I was definitely not one. As you can probably guess, given that I'm a fucking YouTuber, which is like the most narcissistic job you can have. I was very chatty. Especially in elementary school. I was very loud, very talkative, very disruptive of class. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme. See, he helps me pass the time. Leaving the crater? Yes. Uh, uh, oh, sir. That big water planet, Giant's Deep. That's where I'd go. Why? Maybe because he loves to fish, dude. One time after the rest of the village had left to sleep, it was just the two of us sitting around the campfire. Gabbro told me about their first trip to Giant's Deep. We landed their ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gabbro couldn't go any further. Yeah, Giant Steep has a current camp pass through. As though exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. Yeah, that's what I just said. Hug Gabbro back, almost as if it was trying to protect him from something. And then in the terrible darkness, Gabbro saw it. A tentacle of some hideous beast. Ah! I mean, that's what Gabbro said anyway. Whatever it was, it freaked Gabbro out pretty good. Wow, you love this person's name. Everyone wants to hear new stories at the village campfire now. Make sure you bring some back with you. Hope you catch a big one, my friend. I have ADHD. I was not a quiet kid. Yeah, I'm now realizing that it might be the other way around, but people who watch my videos tend to have been the loud kid. Eh, it seems like it's either one or the other. I, For me, I was incredibly vocal and loud in class with my friends. And then I got to high school where I didn't have class with my friends as often, often and then I became the silent one. Because <laughs> I just sat and played games on my computer. Okay. There's too many places to explore, and I don't want to miss anything. I like that as I'm getting closer to the observatory, the music is, like, uh, evolving. Dude, how funny would it be if I pushed you off? I would laugh really hard. Oh, hello, astronaut. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. I like the people who call me astronaut and not the people who call me hatchling. That is condescending. I'm having a hard time reading this dialogue because when I'm as hot as I am right now, I reflexively want to close my eyes. So I'm like in the constant state of like squinting. Oh, wait, I have a face cam. Let me switch to my face cam really fast. I had to set it up to, to show y'all what I mean. So when I'm playing, I'm like this the whole time. 
Like, my eyes are this open. I look terrible. <laughs> my eyes are that open, like, the whole time. So I'm not reading the words. I'm just going like this. Well, I am reading the words, but through, like, very squinted eyes. Smolder. Thanks for the fart, bro. It did not come through the stream. I'm so sorry. It didn't come through the stream because this is the one... Uh, this is the one scene I have in OBS that doesn't have the audio sources. I'm so sorry. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a replacement. There you go. <laughs> That's for you. Beard jump scare. It's not a beard. That is, I forgot to shave for a little while. And also, I'm in poor lighting. So shut it. All right, back to work. I got to wait for the capture. There we go. This is good weather for your launch, right? That's lucky. What are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. Neat. Set to the Outer Wilds Ventures frequency. So I can pick up the traveler's music. That's how I heard Rybeck's banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. What the means are safe. I'm going to find that person. Oh, look at that planet go. Look at it go up there. Neat. Signal scopes are cool. I agree. Uh, equip single scope. Uh, press A to push. More like. Okay. That scared me. That's fine. Maybe jump. It's supposed to be loud. That's the idea here. One of your eyes looks a lot more squinted. So it looks like you got merged by a baseball. That's just, it just does that. My right eye has some kind of problems. Like the muscle has issues. I've been doing this like bio, well not anymore. It's not visible, but I was doing this like biofeedback thing for a while, which involves them hooking up a bunch of things. Um, oh, oh, that's the evil juice. Hooking up a bunch of things to my head to check my, like, if my thinking patterns were healthy. And most of it, they were like, your right eye has a bunch of red. Can you, like, stop squinting? Like, I'm not. I'm like, okay, you have a muscle problem in your right eye. So it closes more than my left eye does. So there's a little fun fact about me. Zero G cave. Nah, I'm gonna... That's the kind of stuff that I want to experience for the first time when stakes are high in space. I think it's funnier. Let's have a natural smolder. Yeah. And I hear you have the freaking waterfall. Yeah, the water's really loud. Which is accurate. Okay. Um, observatory. Yeet yaw. Okay, do you have my launch codes? Do you have my launch codes? This is not who I need to talk to. It's my favorite astronaut. Really? Launch day at last, huh, buddy? It's the translator tools for inaug inaugural flight too. I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any know my text you want anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours into inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? Yeah, I will not, I will not, I will not. Uh, ignore me, okay, I'm just nervous. I'm the one going to space. How are you feeling? I'm excited. Good. You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. Can't wait to see all your training pay off. Training? What's the dirt? Uh, new statue, sure. Gabbro bought it back with them from Giants Deep. And Harfell's just finished prepping it for display. It looks ugly. This is it right here. Neat, huh? Makes me wish we could see what... Oh, my God, my eyes. Makes me wish... Makes me wish we could see what a real live Nomai looks like. I will do that myself. But I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. True. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know. And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Okay, you did get carried away. Pretty, 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 pretty things. Pretty, pretty statues, pretty balls. What's the deal with those? Watch close these balls move on their own. It's true. Maybe it's because uh, this planet is so small that the orbit is felt by all things. The moon. Never mind. As it orbits the planet, Adderox gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling you right now. It is. It's true. So I was like almost correct. Oh, translate. That's cool. That's neat. I like it. I enjoy. All right, gang. 
Where are my launch codes? I need them. Hornfells, are you the one I need to talk to? I'm hearing your name more often than anybody else, and you're in like a very precarious spot. So I'm assuming that's a yes. Oh! Oh my god. There you are. Just finished pre flight observations, and local conditions are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. You'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai translator, too. I've already been told this. Better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of the Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Thanks, man. Wow, that's a lot of options. Tell me, what's your plan when you're in space? Learn about the Nomai, meet up with other travelers. I want to meet up with other travelers. You're going to check in with them, are you? Not a bad plan. No one knows the solar system better than our astronauts. I do. Chert is on the Hourglass Twins. Rybeck's on Brittle Hollow. And Gabro's in Giants Deep. All right. Well, there's Feldspar, obviously. But, of course, we don't know where they are or if they're even alive. They're probably alive. It's been lost for a very long time, I'm afraid. We'll find them. On a more cheerful note, you will find Esker stationed in, on the Yattle Rock. They're not a traveler so much as a lunar local. But I'm sure they'd appreciate a visit, nevertheless. I will visit Esker. Well, then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for launch. Bet. I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent. Then we need the launch codes, then. Here they are. Password is... Taylor Swift is rad. 22. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to your ship, eh? Yeah, fair. See ya. Wow, you move quick. The launch codes are beep, 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 pop, pop, beep, pop. What does that spell? Anyone who knows Morse code, which is not me. Let's see, three letter words. Yes. Fun. We. <laughs> MDN. <gasps> For Outer Wilds. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh where did i even come from oh from here that's right all right i'm sorry that was rude of me okay this is everything that's happened to me so far it is absorbing why that's not yours That is not yours. That is not yours. MDN, am I right? Did you get a good look at the Nomai statue? Looked at me and opened its eyes. Oh, whoa, the statue's doing what? So its eyes open and you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around. You mean like a hallucination? That is no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch? Like, medically speaking? No, I don't worry about it. Maybe you should sit down for a bit and take it easy. You should trust me, more like. You are ready. Make use of our translator tool. Oh, I'm so excited. So excited. Ryback would not fall on it. Do not speak of the Lord's name in vain. You want to do a short trip just to get your space legs under you? You can check out the ruins in Rock. Sure, man. I'll do what I want. How about that? I'm just going to go to the first planet that I stumble into. What was that about? I don't know, man. We'll probably find out. Is that the save mechanic? I don't know, maybe. Dementia machine, but spelled Dementia... Machine, S-H. Dementia. Mamma mia. That's Mario in his advanced years. I got a dementia. Wahoo. All right, one more for the road. Eh, there we go. You know what? Nah, I'm having it the way I like it. Yay. Yum, 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 yum. Enter launch codes. MDN, Moderna vaccine. All right, gamers. Suck me up. Pardon? Okay, view ship log. So here are our options. You can, we have a list of entries here. I can go into rumor mode. I can go to map mode. I prefer rumor mode. This is cool. It's like a little web. Uh, I need to go to Esker's camp. I need to go to the Lunar Ruins. Okay. I'll do uh, probably neither of those if I know myself at all, which I, I do. Uh, suit up. Now I'm ready to go. Look at all my juice. Okay, buckle up. All right, who's ready to go to space, I guess? Uh, hold, hold. Oh, I can go to the camera. There we go. Hold for liftoff. See you, gamers. Going up. I don't want to use all my gas. There, there it was. 
There's and now I'm going elsewhere. I could go to that. Go to there. That one. There are others probably. Yeah, there's one over there. It's probably the hourglass twins. I can view my map. Which I will do. Yeah, man, look at all these Oh. That's okay. Oh, I gotta repair it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's too high. <laughs> oh no. I was trying to look at the map. Uh-oh. This is a terrible start to my career. Uh All right, well, now I'm back in the ship. All right, let's just try anyway. Oh, it's having some trouble. Okay, well, on the, on the, I'm just trying to get to a spot where I can actually get to the thing I have to repair. Is it close to the ground now? No. Dude, uh, what the, f like, yeah, I need to get, oh, oh okay. Here I am. How, how can I help? Something's sparking. I clearly need to get to the thing that's sparking and fix it. Okay, let me look at it from far away. Don't worry, guys. I'll, I'll save the world. Um, it's over there, isn't it? Yes. How am I supposed to get up there? Okay. All right. Here, here we go. There we go. I made it. Now, repair. Don't worry, everybody. No! Why did it stop working? Okay, this jetpack is more powerful than I thought it was. I could just send another one. All right, we're done. Uh, well, I'm on uneven ground, unfortunately. This is pretty hopeful music for me, just totally botching this whole thing. Uh... Yeah, see, like, I'm actually stuck. I'm just, like, wasting fuel. Yeah, I got nothing. <sighs> oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here we go. I just need to... I'm almost out. Dude, this sucks. This is the worst things could have. I just wanted to familiarize myself with the planets. Let's just do that now before we try again. So, here I am. Here's Addle Rock, which they said was a nice place to start. There's this, which does not have a name. Uh, there's Giant's Deep, which apparently is Ocean World and has a current. There's Brittle Hollow, which uh, looks scary. Dark Bramble's really far away. That's probably a late game. The Interloper is adorable. It's like a little comet, I guess. So, what is that, a white hole? There's a white hole. The sun. There's the hourglass twins. And that's really it. Wow, so there's actually not too much. Cool, can't wait to fucking see that. Can I leave? Dude, wiggle. Uh, bro, I'm wiggling. I don't know if you see this thing at the bottom that's showing that I'm trying every cardinal direction there is. I'm actually fully stuck. Is there a way to, like, say, hey, please let me try again? I don't think so. I think I literally soft locked myself. Do I have to start over? Dude, are you kidding me? This is so unfortunate. Okay, horizontal thrust, down up thrust. Equip scout launcher, signal scope, view map. There's nothing. What a damn shame. I'm I'm fully stuck. Like I'm I'm lodged into a crevice that I can't leave. That sucks, dude. Oh, is it just doing something? It's it's, it's doing its own shit. Can I go back? No. We're gonna reset the game. I really don't know. 
We have to reset the whole game. We're not talking to anybody this time. We've experienced it already. I've got to hurry. No marshmallows. All systems go. Launch codes. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut up. Okay. We gotta be fast. I don't care. Can I kill myself if I jump off of here? Yes. Okay. Uh, here we go. Nothing any of you have to say matters. I've seen it all before. Dude, I probably seem like an insane person. They probably think I'm like cracking under the pressure. It's the day of my launch. I know it. I know everything about you. God damn it. That was so unfortunate what happened. I cannot believe. What a damn shame. Observatory. And my back hurts because I threw it out. This is not a very good start to live stream for Therm. Can't read at twitch.tv. Oh, I gotta deal with you again. Whatever. All right. This time for real. Hello. Gonna meet with other travelers. Done. See you guys, it's fine. All right. I be popping bottles. Talk to me, baby. All right, everybody, get ready. It's gonna suck up on my brain. Thanks, boo. All right, bud. Okay. Here I go to the launch tower. Shh. Okay. All is well. Launch codes. MSG. I forgot it. MGM. MSRP. STD. All right. Here we go, for real. This time I'm actually making things happen. Suit up, and we're leaving. I'm an expert. I gotta escape from orbit this time, actually. So here I am, I'm still not quite there. There we go. Okay, let's not crash into that. Actually, I do kinda wanna go there. So let's do it. I need to do this to lock onto it. Uh, oh, engage autopilot. There we go. Oh, we're there. Okay, we're gonna go to the Adol Rock. Stop. Oh no. I'm using so much fuel, probably. Okay, here I come. That was pretty good. That was not that bad. Look, guys, I made it. That was awesome. That was a pretty damn smooth landing, and I'm good at every. I'm good at what I do. Uh, okay, let me whip out my signal scope and let me find the that way. Who's 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 whistle? Come on, come on, come on. The same song, really? You're never gonna get sick of it. 
What up, bro? You know, everyone else has like pretty instruments. No. What up, bro? It's Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. No time, no, no, no time, no time long C. Guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Uh, was that you whistling? Probably. Or actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments. They don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. North Pole is marked in red on your mini-map. The Adel Rock's a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. Can't miss it. Don't go! Uh, mean anything else you want to ask? Uh, seems lonely. A little. I'm in touch with ground control. Hornfells and Ghosts on, mostly. And they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets them up here, and they usually do, I launch my little scout at the village. I forget about you. I don't blame him. For one, I don't check in as often as the other travelers, since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. It's true. It is peaceful. Uh, bye. Okay, uh, I'm gonna snoop through your goods. I'm sure you won't let me in, but... Whatever. I can also whip out a... Yeah, nice. Uh, un unidentified signal nearby. Isn't that... Bruh singing? Oh no, don't leave. Do not leave the atmosphere. Okay, so let's go to the mini... Let's go to the, let's go to the pole. He said I should check it out. There might be something cool there. Okay, let's not use all the fuel. Ouch, 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 ouch. Here we go. Alright. The North Pole. See, look at how cool this is. Look at how beautiful this world is. Uh-oh. Alright, bet. I'm going here. Hi. I can read. It's Esker's signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Ryback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Listen to Day 51. Listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated. Someone should tell Porphy and Ghost on their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Porphy and Ghost on. Day 55, banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Ryback's doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Day 60, wow, not a lot to do up here. Thought I heard something. It's probably nothing. No, uh, something strange coming from Timber Hearth. Sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. Oh my god. Wow. So Feldspar might be in Brittle Hollow. No way, dude. I got a new ship log update. There's something to, something to do. Let's go to the South Pole. There might be something down there. I don't want to miss anything on this beautiful planet, beautiful world I live in. Beautiful solar system that I love and cherish. There's the sun. Is that... Okay, I thought I saw like a little house on the sun. I was like, I hope I don't have to go there. That sounds dangerous and hot. Ouch, 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 ouch. That's what I would say if I land on the sun, probably. Like, for more. Uh, here we are. Oh, neat. Ow, oh, jeez. Oh, my God. All right, no problem. Ooh. It's, uh, some other. Oh, I can, I can, like... Oh, it points me at, at where that... So it's like, hey, find me whatever this is. Your Uranus. And there it is. Giant's Deep. And then if I want you to find me a, like a pineapple, but with the leaves cut off, then uh, there it is. Pineapple with the leaves cut off. And then if I'm like, hey, Siri, I want to go to a saw blade that also looks like Tron, then it'll be like, yeah, man. I got the I got the sneaky link. It's right that way in the f fucking sun. Uh, so I'm not going there. And then if I'm like, hey, take me to whatever porcupine world, um, it'll it'll just kind of oh it'll get too it'll get confused. It doesn't know where it is. Okay, so it doesn't know where this thing is, or it's everywhere. How interesting. Ooh. A scroll. Oh, no, I need that. Beepop. I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and I can hear and follow the signals from the sun giants deep in Brittle Hollow. Oh, that was the sun. 
Whoops. Uh, okay, anyway. Untranslated no my writing. Oh, I have to... Whoops. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device indicator rotates widely and never points to just one direction. I see you most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Private, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments to try again. An update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. Uh, it saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe this locator cannot detect the eye's signal. And we'll build it. Don't lose hope. Cassava, our search for the eye is what brought us, what brought our clan to this place. Okay, so they're trying to find the eye. I'm going to read this too. It's a curious result. It's possible the eye is still calling out its signal. No, it's impossible. It's impossible. Why would you even suggest? Footy. Footy. Are there any more scrolls? There are some more scrolls. Alright, enough of that. Enough. Enough. Okay. Another scroll. What up? Where should this new, more sophisticated locator be built? Let's see. Built a quantum... Pretty. On an ember twin. Built a quantum moon locator there. Okay, that's probably one of the hourglass ones. Quantum moon locator there, but the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. Never mind. Never mind. Southern Glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. Let's build there. Okay, Southern Glacier in Brittle Hollow. Imagine our young friend, Kanoi. Stupid name for stupid people. We'd enjoy that immensely. I see. Sh I will begin construction of Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Begin construction of Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Ah. Uh, oh, trees. Okay. A recording. Okay, wow, wow. I've seen this ruin in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself. It's really old, isn't it? Wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, uh, time for some official notes. This is some kind of Nomai locator. Point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool. Neat! Also able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow. To fly there, see if I can learn more. Gonna get back to the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. No stars above. Well, that's what I was gonna do, you copier. You dang copycat. Alright, well, we've uh, investigated. Plenty of things. We've updated our ship log. Of, of, do not. I'm, I'm done with, with this toy. Okay. Neat. Now I need to find my ship, which is this way. Breathing is making me annoyed. Like, okay, Darth Vader. Wow, how needlessly negative. Shitting on me for breathing, like everybody needs to do. I, I'll be honest, y'all. I have not a fucking clue what's going on right now. I feel like that's the idea. I'm sure we'll figure it out in due time. Whee! All right. Uh, ship log. Okay, we got plenty of new little little paths here. So we found this, the ice signal locator. Done. Um, and and then we need to check out the Southern Observatory. We need to check out see if Ryback's in Brittle Hollow. There's also a harmonica signal. Esker's camp. We have we have come to. Uh, lunar lookout. Oops, we have come to. And uh, harmonica signal, we should investigate. So everything with a question mark we're going to go for is what I assume we should be doing. Yeah. Okay, let me... Yep. All right. Um, where are we going next? Gamers of today. Okay, so I'm on the Addle Rock. I guess, do we want to check out... Let's go to Brittle Hollow. Let's try and find that South Observatory. How about this one? Uh, okay. Here goes Papa. All right, it's pretty far away. We're gonna do auto autopilot. All right, it's gonna do that for me. Appreciate you. And now here I go. I worry that autopilot will send me into the sun, but that's okay.
Wow, it really took a while to do the autopilot. Okay, I'm really good at this. All right, neat. Off I go. All right, so South Pole is what I'm... All right, so watch out, guys. South Pole is what I'm going for here. There's an observatory there, allegedly. And if I see anything neat, I will investigate. Like, what's up with this tree here? Does it refuel my oxygen? Even though it looks dead? It does not. Presumably because it is dead. Neat. Fly through the sun. No. No, I won't do that. Getting close, gang. Getting pretty close. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, is that home planet? No, that's uh, Giant's butthole or whatever. And then there's some asteroids floating about. Some various com comites. Death rocks. Full of death and, and despair. Okay, here we are. The observatory. Now I gotta find a way inside. I'm gonna take one lap. And there's the sun. I'm gonna take one lap around the outside. And then we're gonna try up top. How's that? If there isn't a door. We're awful close to the sun. I worry. I worry for my health. I'm gonna get melanoma. Melatonin. Giant's Deep is pretty. It's scary. There's lightning going on over there. Um, okay, we've almost made a full loop. Whoops. What is that? Oh, that's my ship. Are you kidding me? No, it's not. My ship is, is in there. All right, brief break, brief break. Here we are. Oh my God, this is the way in. Okay, 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 okay. I'd like to see what's inside this ship. No dice, no entrance. Okay. Welcome. Recording. I'm here, I did it. Put the ship down safely. Um, you know, the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. I'm on repairs and it's like the ship never even hit those rocks. One of my better attempts. Felt spy were barely even laughed at me a bit. That's the good news. The bad news. I, I haven't found a way to get inside the structure yet. The door's broken and blah, 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 blah. A different entrance if there were one. Can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator. Try and find a way down. Okay, north to the ruins on the equator. I'm just going to go straight due north, like, towards where the ship is. Because I figured that's where this person was probably tending toward... I bet. Whee! Dude, I'm going to die. Where are these coming from? Are they coming straight from the sun or from something else? Coming from that freaking thing. I hate that. Okay, calm down. Whoa. Whoa! That's cool, and I want to go inside it, but there is also a black hole that would suck me right up and eat me for dinner. So instead, I'm just gonna go to the equator, like Papa said to, and uh, we'll go from there, how about? Whoops, never mind. Okay, I'll go around. It's no problem. I've always been the durable type. I'm adaptable. Always loving and ready to adapt. Oh, Jesus. Scary. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I'm almost out of oxygen, man. I'm going to have to go back to my ship soon. I'm about to make like a full lap around this whole planet. Yeah. I might have to turn tail and run. Dude, I would love to try and take a shortcut through the planet to my ship. However, black hole. Okay. Okay. Maybe instead of walking here on foot, I fly the ship around the whole planet. 
Jeez. That would be so much faster, dummy. Alright, we're gonna make our way to the ship. It's a long way, so I might suffocate. But hey, what's... What's an astronaut without a little risky behavior? What the hell? It's in the white hole. Do you think the black hole? You might go in the. Maybe it fell in the black hole. Oh, wait. I could. Oh. Oh my god. I want to find that person. Okay. Well, I'm about to suffocate. So let's go get the ship and then we'll come back and find the person. How about. How about that? Okay. I need to find a way into the black hole. Shouldn't be too hard considering I had to actively avoid it earlier. Dude, what the hell? All right. Here we are. Take me to my ship, please. Oh, look at that. That's so pretty right there. All right, here I go. Neat. Um, uh, lock on. Ship, take me. Why did it do that? Why did it do that? Okay, okay, okay. Here I go. No, 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 no. What? A save. And I'm back. Dude, what the hell? How do I refill my... Jeez, I'm spinning the damn circles. Okay, can I check out what the hell is going on? Okay, okay, okay. So I am here. So it did. It kicked me out of the... It kicked me out of the white hole, and now I'm in a rock. All right, well, let me check my ship log, I guess. What the flip word? Blah. This still has a little icon. A little info icon. And some other ones don't. Oh, it just means I hadn't read it yet. Arabic landed their ship. Throw the inside's broken. Decided to head north to the ruins on the equator. Okay, we'll find that. There's a door to the observatory on the surface, but it's broken. Wah wah. You tell me with all your grillions of technological advancements. Can I go ahead and set, like, a destination before I leave? I can't. I can lock on to something on the map. Okay, let's go back to Brittle Hollow. It'll be a long flight, but that's okay. All right, here we go. This is a pretty cool spot. We'll investigate it later. It's fine. Uh, let's go autopilot. All right. Or you zoomed in killed me. Where'd I park my car? <laughs> That's funny. I swear that sh I'm gonna start assuming that's what happens now. Every time I'm like coming out of the CVS. And I can't find where I parked. I'd be like, oh, it probably fell into that black hole or whatever. And now I have to go to the white hole. Here I am. Oh, wait, I got to lock on. Oh, wait. There you go. I didn't mean to lock on that. All right. Well, we're still going to get there. Okay. I got to slow down. I got to slow down. I got to slow down. I got to... I got to try again. My fault, y'all. Alrighty. And that was fine. All right. Let's have a good day. Let's have a fun-filled Boy Scout day. I bet I can sell more Samoas than you. Okay. Um, where to next? So no black hole for me. None. Um, I need to go to the equator, which I am at, roughly. I could look for the harmonica plane, or 
What is happening? Oh shit, that's what happened to my ship. Oh my god, so platforms will just fall down at will is what I'm learning. So I better be care careful. Spooky. Alright, gamers. I'm just gonna wander around the whole equator. And then we'll, we'll save the harmonica search for later. How does that sound? Up I go. Oh, this is it! And trees detected! I did it! Well, this is a huge discovery. Ouch. This music is very s sweeping. Brittle Hollow Projection Stone. Uh, is there a VHS player? Oh, I can put it in here. Whoa. This is so cool. Okay, so that, that's just like a, an area elsewhere in the world. That's fine. This music's pretty. Um, is it different if I use it in a different area? So if I brought that... Is someone in here? No. If I brought that... Ting... Down here, could I use it? Welcome to Fresh Faz Freddy's fart hole something other. Oh. Untranslated into my writing. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to take my what was that, dude? Someone just dropped a mad fart. Uh I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready, but there's still what is happening? Did I have a stroke? I died. I wonder if the, uh... I wonder if, if, uh, the, the land mass I was on fell <laughs> to the black hole. It's stealing all my brain again! Oh, it's a time loop. Okay, so that thing's firing again. Um. Alright, well. You're gonna wanna get the launch goes in the observatory first. I already got him for the observatory. It is a, it's a time loop, and no one knows about a time loop. Except me. Mwah. Stay safe. Love you. This is Time Warp Glee version coded. What does that mean? Alright, here we go. And I'm off. Alright, well, that's a shame because I just found the thing I needed to find. Okay, let's, uh. Oh, there's pre flight checklist. Jetpack auto boost. Jetpack boost can be triggered with a separate button press or anytime. I like the separate button. I like the separate button. Translator auto equip is good. That's helpful. Freeze time while translating text is great. Freeze time while okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, the fact that there's three separate settings for freezing time means clearly time past matters. So this is a time loop situation. So I'm assuming that whatever just took me out happens on a timer. Given that three of the five settings in this game are about time, whether or not time is passing, I think it's just that you have like a time limit. Yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna sit here and do nothing, dumbass. Uh, <laughs> it looks like I'm on the clock, so I'm gonna like, explain that to you as while well. I look at nothing. Um, I'm assuming after a certain stretch of time, um, sun is a lot less red. After a certain stretch of time, uh, it's just like, okay, no more, you're done, that's it. All right, uh, let's go to Brittle Hollow. Dang it, I was hoping I could just find it. Okay, well, I'm scared I'm gonna get, accidentally fall back into where I do not want to be. Brittle Hollow, here we go. Brittle Hollow. 
No worries. Alright, we made it. Whee! Okay, I don't think this is the right spot, but I just found this thing and it looks cool and I wanted to see it. I also want to get all the way up there. I don't know how. I can figure it out. Okay. Uh, there's lots of things to do on these little pillars here. I don't think my jetpack is strong enough. Um, cool. I can launch a scout, I guess. We'll do that later. Let's read this text first. How about... The trees are moving! Trees in this grove wander about freely. Entire plant, roots and all, is not normal. I figure as much. If anyone else witnesses these, this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Clemens right, the trees do move. Okay. <laughs> Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is there is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock moving in the same eerie way. That rock is unusual for another reason, too. Thatch says... Oh, another reason to thatch. This is all Felix. It, possess, it possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it. A true scientist. Okay, so... What do you mean the, the trees move freely? When? I'm not seeing any trees moving freely. You dang liar. Beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. You're preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon to send the steps to the entrance below. I'm gonna launch a scout. Picture! <laughs> uh, I can rotate the camera. Dude, it's pretty epic. Alright, come back. Come back, baby. Uh, Alright, I'll probably- I'll come here later, I guess. I'm, I'm probably not fit to explore quantum moons yet. What I am going to do, though, is get on top of that cool thing. If I have enough juice. You bet I do. More than enough. Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects... I've been getting an egregious amount of spam calls. Ob objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Okay. Of note... <sighs> Are you signal coming for this shard? Curiously, our friend the wandering moon sounds the same. I've also heard from some signal that the shard produces coming off giant steep timber hard and hourglass commands. Neat! The only other objects we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the wandering moon. Epic. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere in Brittle Hollow. Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the wandering quantum moon. Perhaps this is even a small piece of the moon itself. Okay, there's a wandering moon at this quantum. It is a quantum. It is a moon of quantum proportions and abilities. It is... Oops. It is quantum core. Quantum build. Okay. <laughs> Let me refill. There you go. All right. Let's go to the equator. How about... Let's just see if I can see it from my ship. If I just like kind of go a little high and, and make my way. See, like there's something here. Oh, this is its own thing. Okay, we're just gonna explore everything. How about? I'm sure this is the worst way to do it because I'm gonna have too many threads at the same time and get overwhelmed and confused. But I'm gonna do it this way because it's like oh, pretty, it's pretty new. All right. Whee! There's a there's a beautiful thing right there. I wonder if there's something I can put in there. Hello. Yeah, like what is this? You seriously not gonna let me pick this shit up? Look at how significant this looks. Oh, oxygen tank. I'm. Oh, it's fuel tank. I, I've got plenty. I'm good. Um. There's a little hole right there for if you, if you like those. The Hanging City. What is this? No. This one, this will not allow me to go down. 
will not allow it. Oh, so that's a way back up from if I get down there. I assume. To our friends of Brittle Hollow, I just warped to you from the White Hole Station. The other side of Brittle Hollow is Black Hole. Our design worked. We successfully recreated warp travel. I don't know how close it is to Anona's original design, but as long as we built, as long as what we built works, then I'm delighted. Yeah, I bet. Wait, this can't be correct. Clary, have you seen these readings? If they were accurate. They would violate causality. Okay. Returning to the White Hole Station. Okay. So should I go there? Don't talk so. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful news. Can't wait to see the warp tower. It's been a long time since I jumped in a black hole. All right. Phrasing. Let's see here. Any more uh, blah, 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 blah scrolls. Um, Alright, Jesus. We got a couple more of these like VHS player type beats. But no VHSs to put in the VHS player. What a damn travesty. Let's go there. Um, Alright. Alright. Okay, this is the North Pole. It's not where we need to be, but there's still f lots of fun and cool stuff happening that in intrigues me. Oops, I fell. I hate when the intern violates causality. So much paperwork. Seriously. They didn't observe the phantom moon that sometimes greets us in the night sky. No. I think you're dreaming of it. Compliment your eyes. What is going on? Catch your feelings. How do you imagine... I, imagine, I hope they open every entry with like a little bit of... Uh, Flirting. I compliment your eyes. How do you imagine it appears? Hypothesis. Could it be a shift in the light spectrum? You have an exquisite ass. Suppose this moon is too shy to show us its face. I love the way you speak. I'm interested in your playful moon. It's much like its violent friend. Oh, is it much like its violent friend? Hollow's lantern? I could stare at those jugs for days. Imagine if there were two volcanic moons. Likewise. Hypothesis. There can exist too much lava. Oh my god, really? Okay, I'm taking a brief break because I'm really hot. Oh my god, I gotta put my headphones down too because they're like making my ears overheat. I don't like it when it's this hot in my room. I don't like when it's this hot in my room. Uh... Santa? What is that in response to? What happened? Uh, what happened that had to do with Santa? You're saying you're at the North Pole. Oh, I'm a dumbass. Please excuse my dumbassery. I don't know. I had a full day yesterday with no streams and no classes. Supposed to have two, but I didn't make it to either because I spent the whole morning looking for my wallet and being anxious about my wallet, and I had a small breakdown, so I stayed home. <laughs> it didn't go to my first day of class, but it's fine. It, I missed nothing. Um, I found the wallet as well. I was scared someone was going to steal all my money and personal information because I'm getting a million scam calls a day, and I got like two $1,000 fraudulent charges out of this week. Anyway, uh, so I had like a whole day to work and I literally just went nose to the grindstone on uh, the the Calamity Mod video. And I'm making great progress, man. I finished the script 33 pages long. I recorded all of that and now I'm on to editing. And I like edited a little bit of it. And I'm so excited about it. I'm putting so much work into that video. My one concern is it's very stylistically different from like everything else because I've been shifting to more like raw footage type content. And this is post commentary, which I don't do very often. But. Uh, how about shut up, suck? Someone else's wee wee. Mine's off limits. Let me check Twitter to see if any teams sign any players and I missed it. Which is my worst fear in life. My ear, my eyes doom again. Listen to the squeaky. It's like a little mouse. That is no mouse, that is my eyeball. How crazy is that? All right. Uh, doesn't look like it. I'm seeing no signings. 
Okay. Epic. Bro, that is wild. Yeah, it's my stupid sinuses. Hypothesis, there can exist too much lava. I agree. I strongly prefer we test the null hypothesis. Ah, how funny is that? And I imagine there'd be none of us left. And this is in relation to, imagine if there are two volcanic moons. And then now in relation to, I'm interested in your playful moon. Is it like Hollow's Lantern? The moon isn't volcanic to my unaided eyes. It leaves its friend Hollow's Lantern for nights at a time. It's adorable to talk like they're buddies. The nights, the moon circles this planet appear random. It seems to travel as it likes. Sorry for blasting the mic because I bumped it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so upset. This is my least favorite thing in the entire world. I just realized why y'all were saying the game audio is so loud earlier, and I was thinking to myself it shouldn't be that loud. I accidentally, fuck. I accidentally had, I turned on desktop audio for a second so that fart noise would play. Um, and I, and I forgot that, well, desktop audio has been on the whole time. It's been on the whole time, I'm not realizing. It's been on literally the whole time. So the, it's, the audio's been this way the whole time. Uh, this game, for some reason, is currently playing audio in both my game audio like channel and my desktop audio channel so it's been duplicating its audio this whole time and it's going to be unbelievably loud and i'm so upset because now this is why i need to start recording streams at the same time I'm streaming and my computer just can't handle that that well fuck dude the whole first like hour plus of the stream i'm gonna be barely audible unless you listen to it from a specific device and before you say you could hear me i know you can't i don't I don't trust anything y'all have to say. A lot of times you said it sounded good, and I listen later, and the audio bouncing sucks. I'm so upset. Now when I make this into a video, the whole first stream, which is like the most important part of the video, is going to be unwatchable. That is genuinely really devastating, and I'm in a terrible mood now. And honestly, it wasn't that bad. It was. I could see the audio meter. I appreciate y'all are trying to cheer me up, but it is terrible, and I'm actually fucking super angry. Ugh, this is my least favorite thing in the world. Just start over. That's, that's the thing I don't want to, though, because then everything's going to be disingenuous because this game is all about exploration and discovery. So I'm not starting over. <laughs> that helps a little. I feel a little better. Ugh, the water was crazy loud. Yeah, that's why. Dude, I'm really, 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 really mad. Because I was so excited about this this video that this is going to make. Because it's going to be such a nice like first time playthrough. And now the first like 20 minutes of the video are going to be completely ruined. I need to... It's because it's smarter to record and stream at the same time. So you can separate audio if something happens. But my computer can't do that very well. I need to like get it looked at. It might, it's been having problems for a few years. A couple of years. So, right now, I can't do that. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a choice. Nothing I can do about it now. That's just really, really fucking annoying. But that ruins, like, the whole first stream. Oh, cool. 4K video downloader just tried to crash my whole computer. Alright, well, that is super upsetting and kind of just ruined my day. But we're going to move anyway. Because it happened. And there's literally nothing I can do about it. Please don't break your knees. Thanks, man. Okay, all right, I should go back to the ship. It would be better if I flew to the ruins. It would be faster and safer and more convenient when I need to leave or if I run out of oxygen. It's still doing it. It's still duplicating the audio. It's not, this game breaks my computer. <laughs> Truly. I like I fixed the part that it broke last time I tried to play, and now it's it's coming through desktop audio and my. So I'm just gonna have to okay. I have to mute desktop audio, which means any more rip ones will not come through to stream. So don't use any rip ones. Do not, because this game breaks my audio engine. So I need to take countermeasures. Okay, what you're hearing right now is what the audio was supposed to be this entire time. No, but I want to rip one. Yeah, I don't know. This game, I love it, but it really just does something to my computer in, like, many ways. Okay, ship log. 
Tower of Quantum Knowledge, Quantum Shard, Quantum Signal, Quantum Signal, Quantum Signal, Northern Glacier, White Hole Station, Quantum Moon. Okay. So these are all our little starting things. And then this is all these big things that I have discovered lately. We'll get to these later because this is a path of knowledge that I'm just going to kind of... I'm focusing on this right now. So we're going to ignore that for a little. But like in like a polite way. Okay. Was it duplicate? Yes, it was duplicating. It's because the reason that's never been a problem with any of the other games is is because it, it used to not matter when desktop audio was open, because the program I have called Ear Trumpet, you can uh, direct like games audios to certain like channels uh, that come through to OBS. But this one like breaks Ear Trumpet and goes through all of them at the same time, so it was duplicating the audio the whole time. Okay, let's check out this thing. Okay. True. Okay, so somebody's in distress. I'm sorry to hear that. What is this? Is anyone on, is everyone unharmed? No one was badly injured from the escape pod's impact. We're incredibly fortunate. This is good news, at least. We were from two or three. No, I'm unable to make contact. My equipment can hear the other two escape pod's stress signals. Okay, they must be structurally intact. We'll continue calling for them. The moon is approaching again. Everyone brace yourselves. Volcanic moon has returned. Be cautious of falling ash and debris. I believe the moon has passed. It doesn't appear eager to have guests. We need to find shelter and quickly. There are several promising sites below for below the surface. Okay, well, I'm going to check out your snail-shaped thing, if that's cool. It looks like the loot llama. I don't know why I made that connection. It doesn't really look like a loot llama, but it makes sense in my head. Okay, um, so these are the escape pods. And then there's, there's this. There we go. Oops. Collision imminent, preparing for impact. Launching escape pod three, two, and one. Guys have been mortally injured. Scanning external environments can't complete minor structural disabilities, but it's hospitable. I don't know about all that, but I guess. Okay, I thought my ship literally just flew away outside, but turns out that was just paranoia. I went the wrong way. Okay, wait. I gotta turn up the audio now. It's now it's too quiet. Audio balancing is the hardest part of live streaming, easily. Every game is in a completely different register. Every game has a completely different sound level. And as we've learned today, some games uh, just kind of break so the sound of your computer, like all of it. Whee! Ow. Take me to church. Okay. I'm buckling up. Where to? Uh, Giants Deep, I guess. Let's go there. Wait, no, I literally, you know, remember how I wanted to find that one thing on this planet? We found like everything else. Jesus. Okay. Let's just kind of float around, and then maybe I'll run into it by pure chance. Okay, there's the dome, which we've been to. So that's on the south pole. So let's go like halfway up, and then just wander around. See, there's campfire smoke over here. That might be a. There might be a. a maybe that's uh whatever the hell your name is, harmonica man. Uh, no, stop. Oh, that was a rough landing. That was very rough. That's fine. Apparently, my ship somehow sustained no damage. Let's check out this area. Is that a skeleton? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, Jesus. These are bad news, right? Yeah, ghost matter detected nearby. Okay. Uh. No, thank you. Let's go in here instead. Is there ghost matter in here? No. 
Okay. Oh no, there's no one home. It's on the literal other sky. Oh no, that's escape pod one. I don't care. I'm looking for my cool friend. There's another distress beacon on the other side of the whole ass world. Oh no, it's on the... Is that the... Is that on the sun? Oh no, it's on that rock up there. Oh no, it's... Yeah, it's, it's on one of the hourglass twins. Oh, I can change my frequency. That's why. Someone's playing an instrument over there. Someone's playing the banjo on the other side of the world. Perfect. Okay, well, I'm gonna investigate. Let's get this little zone first. Nothing to see, really. Cool, so that's confusing. All right, here we go. I made it. Uh, what are these? They look tasty. Why'd I break in here? There's nothing to do. All right, this place blows. I'm leaving. No, I should make sure I'm not missing anything at all. Where's the ghost matter zone? Well, what the flip? Did I check in here? Yes. Okay, let's leave. This place sucks. That's fine. I won't. I just won't go in it. So it's whatever. All right. Let's move. I'm just gonna keep flying around the equator. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Erm. Erm, hello. This place is pretty. Okay, there's some over here. Oh, I've already been there. I've already been there. Okay. Um. There's lots of little treats and toys down that way. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's the distress beacons. We've already seen that. This is hard. Okay. I've already been to this one. Oh, yeah, I have. Well, shit. Dude, what the holla? I, just, I keep finding all the shit I don't need to find. Come on. I know it's out there. I've been there before. And here's the damn campfire again. Wait, is this a different one? Is this a different one? No. Dude, what the hey? Okay, we're going to go down here. How about check that out oh no okay is this precarious oh this is really precarious there we are there we are let me refuel here there we go this is fine the shuttle is currently resting at the quantum moon Simon says, touch your elbow. What is... Ooh. La la. Oh. Sorry. What did I do? Oh. Call the shuttle home. I almost shouldn't have done that. Activate the gravity cannon. Okay, well, I'm gonna go check out the shuttle if that's cool with y'all. Crossroads, west 350 meters. Um, that bridge blowed up. I literally can't even use it anymore. Do it this way. The southern observatory. Oh, we've already been there. It sucks. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's literally go. Oh. Jesus. Startled me. 
Another, I have big news for y'all. This is another side effect of me muting the desktop audio channel like permanently now. Uh, my headphones. These headphones are super janky. The battery life's weird. They have a lot of weird glitches. Uh, and one of them is, that, remember how it used to always do that like battery low voice or like the charging battery voice, especially during the starter perfection streams. That shit happened constantly. Um, and then it just kind of stopped doing that for like two years. It started doing it again, like, like a couple weeks ago. She like took a break. I don't know why. And it sucks that it's back because it's annoying as hell. It is ex these, these headphones, man, I hate how comfortable they are and how good the sound quality is because every other part of them sucks. These like, it's the Corsair Virtuoso wireless headset. If they ever reached out to me and asked to sponsor me, even though I own these headphones, I'd say no, because the volume dial sucks. It, it is it is just bursting with, I need to hurry. I'm on a timer. It's bursting with glitches and the like battery low voice is set to max volume, no matter what your volume knob is set at, which is a horrific feature because it'll just blow out your ears. It is terrible. I'm here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. You're gonna die. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. Make the remainder of my journey on foot. You don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole. Just that it is true. As a child, I considered such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is and we are. Okay, bro. Do your homework. I am ready. You dead, probably. Ship log updated. Let. Score. Alright, well, bye. I guess that's that. Wait, this is so cool up here. What the hey? Wait, wait, wait. No, I fell. How did that even happen? That's fine. I'm leaving. Um, okay. Well. Let's go up. Let's go up east. I want to see what's in here. There is crossroad. Okay, it's I've already seen. Already seen. Oops, what was it? Um. Ah, this is where I'd already been. Okay, what if I do this other thing? What if I uh, activate the gravity cannon? Then what? Bye. Uh, okay. Well, off I go. On you get. All right, let's check our ship log. What's new? Escape pod one, shelter site, gravity can. S there you go. We got some new, we got some, uh, some, uh, ba, 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 some uh, new goodies. Uh, okay, let me whip out my signal scope. Which way is my baby? Oh, there's a lot of sounds. Look, they're all together. Oh. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I got an achievement for that. Well, where's the one that I... This one. I... Oh, that's cute when they're playing together. I care about... Banjer. Which is... That way. So we're gonna... We're gonna go that way. So it's to my, like, right, I guess. Oh, f Jesus. Okay, it's to my... Oh, sorry. It's like that way. Kind of. Oh, look, there's campfire smoke. Oh my god, did I actually manage to do that? What the hell? No, I've already been here before. This is not it. It's like on the other side of the world, I'm pretty sure. Shit! No! It's on the other side of the world. Is it in the black hole? All right, time out. We're gonna go on to this little strip right here. Strip? What did I just hit? 
Please don't send me careening into the black hole. What'd I just say? Oh, this is the You're About to Die song, isn't it? I damaged my ship. That's fine. That actually worked out quite nicely. Oh, uh, never mind. You know what? Actually, I, I've got a pretty bad feeling about this. You know what? We're going to try it. Get there! Yes! That was awesome. Oh, I got to hurry. I'm about to die. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Let me just, let me just keep this in. Uh, Black Hole Forge District. I Shrine District. Meltwater District. School District. <laughs> school. Going to school. Okay, so this is school. Uh, and that is uh, school as well. All right, well, I'm out of time, pretty much. Let me do one last little bit of exploration. Oh, there's ghost matter there, so I can't go there. What in the what in the scallops? Erm, what the scallop? Okay, there's like nothing. It's like nothing. Well, this is a very cool place, and I'm happy I came here. All right, well, that's it. Where is that explosion coming from? Is it the sun? Let me, I'd like to see the origin of my death. It's a roofed area. That's fine. All right, well, we uh, found some new things, made some new discoveries. Not too shabby. Okay. I made it. What up, bro? Uh, you're not giving me a time loop because I'll always be super dead. What a prank. All right, up, up I go. All right, let's check out the ship log. We got some new knowledge in there at the very end. Uh, let's see, Hanging City, Black Hole Forge. That's really it. Okay, the uh, very neat. So I still want to tie up these loose ends. I just keep finding new loose ends. I'm not tying up anything. I'm just finding new loose ends. Right back. Headed to Brittle Hollow. To investigate something the Nomai are doing at the South Pole. Hey, maybe go South Pole. Oh wait, landed their ship. Big dome at the South Pole. Door leading inside was broken. So decided to head north to the ruins in the equator. Yeah, let's just do that. How about... And then, um, yeah, okay, that'll take care of both of those things. Let's maybe this time find the thing I'm supposed to find. Jesus. Whee! Let's go, baby. Where is it? Is that Brittle Hollow? No, that's um, the moon or whatever. Atoll Rock. Uh, okay, maybe I'll just see it and I won't have to open the map. All right, map. Uh, all up. This one, yeah, take me. Oh, cool! It's this glitch. This happened last time I played too. Sometimes it glitches out and the D-pad just stops working, so you aren't allowed to use autopilot. All right, we're doing it the hard way then. <laughs> Do it manually. Is that even? Yeah, no. Th this is not. Uh, that is not. Oh, those are the twins. Those are the hourglass twins. Does that mean I'm really close to the sun? You bet. All right. Uh, Brittle Hollow is is down there. I think. No, it's right there. It's right there. It's the one with the, with the fire. All right, we're doing it manually. I can also roll. That's cool. Didn't know that. I'm never gonna use that. It's too much for my brain. Oh, perfect. 
that actually worked out quite nicely. That's lovely. All right, here I am. Um, here I am. And yeah, here I am. Let's just land. We're gonna go on foot because then I can see if I'm at the South Pole or not. Let's go. Okay, I am at, I'm at the North Pole. No, I'm at the South Pole. No, I'm at the North Pole. I'm at the North Pole. Awesome, that sucks. Have I been here before? Have I, have I read that? I don't think so. Yes, I have. This has all been read. This has all been read. This has all been read. Okay, no dice. We're gonna go to the other side. This time we will use the ship because it's faster. And I'm just in the complete wrong spot. Cause I need to, the, the, the way the entry uh, phrased it, it sounds like I'll find it if I start from the South Pole and then head due north. That is how I found it the first time. Here we are. Okay, so. Alright, now let me find Ryback's ship, and we're gonna use that as our little ruler. That place is cool. There we go. Okay. We're going due north. We're just gonna go on a line because that'll be easier for me to follow. And then we wrap around the equator until we find it. And this time I won't light on fire and explode. Yay! I'm patient. I'll take my time. I'll take my time if I have to. I passed the equator. Okay. Well, here's the equator. Nothing up here. That's not where I need to be. So. No. Uh, some there, maybe? Okay, maybe by that tree. Damn, I'm so bummed that I actually found it and then I just like died immediately. Oh god, oh jeez. Okay. Will shit. Well, shit. Is that it? Is that it? That's on the equator. No, that's the hanging city that I found that I don't need to be at right now, or at least I don't think I need to be at. Damn, dude. Rybeck, what the hell? You know what? He probably is there, so I should follow. Oh, really? How come this guy is always in the middle? Does that mean he's near the black hole? Just gonna move towards the banjo, which is what I should have been doing this whole time. I am getting closer, I'm getting closer. I'm gonna look straight at the ground. If I die, I die. <laughs> I just want to keep a beat on this man. I'm gonna find you, dude. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you. You're mine. Look at how much closer I'm getting. He's still on the other side of the entire world, which is really discouraging. But we are gonna get there. Oh, thanks for the O2. No, I don't care. I don't care. I only care about my, my boy. Well, now it's... 
This is definitely a prank. Okay, you know what? Let's try going in the middle. How about that? Let's go, let's try let's try uh, dropping down again. Cause I think he truly is in the middle because he's always straight into the ground when I'm up here. All right. Ugh. I'm. I don't. Do I have to walk all the way to the? No. 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 I'm finding him. I'm finding him. I'm finding him. I'm finding him. I'm doing it manually. See, because now I'm getting further and further away. Yeah, he's definitely in the middle of the planet. Okay, I need to find a way down there. And then I'm just going to try and land on that, like, hanging city thing. God damn it. This is going not as well as I wanted. Yeah, the sun is definitely what's exploding. Because it starts out, like, yellow-orange every time. And it turns redder and redder as the day goes. Okay, can I... Please go down. Please. Okay, here we go. Um, this is risky. Never mind. This isn't even... Oh my god, what the hell? There we go. This looks, this looks promising. Not even. <gasps> Dude, before I literally couldn't escape... Please. I literally couldn't escape these giant holes. There we are. Okay. Let me guess. Yep. Okay. Here's here's the play. This is risky. Oh, I ran out of jet. Take me. Yeah, I knew it. Oh shit. It kicked me out. What the hell? That was my whole plan. That sucks, man. My whole my whole plan was to get caught by that ladder thing. And then it like kicked me out for some reason. What if I go back into the white hole? Take me back. Oh, it doesn't let me. Now I'm just gonna suffocate out here. I just have to wait until I die. Well, that sucks. I kind of expected that sh purple thing that the game has told me will suck me up to suck me up, and it didn't suck me up. It just hurt me, and then I died anyway. I don't know where I am. I can't see. Okay. Um, I, I did not let me land on it. It just had me hit it and then leave. Well, is there... Okay, put the signal thing away. Is there a way I can just, like, go back to the ship and say, like, All right, man, I failed. All right, I'll just run out of fuel, I guess. And die. All right, well, it's been a pleasure. See ya. And I can't lock on anything because my D-pad is broken. There we go. Oh, I can use my oxygen as propellant to speed up the death process. Take me back. I deserve it. Is there no button I can hit to be like, hey, man, I, I botched it. All right. Let's use all the oxygen. See ya. Bye. I die. All right. Well, I don't. I, I want to find this harmonica guy, and he's clearly like near the center of the planet. That was bullshit, by the way. That that purple ladder, like it was like, hey, you got it, and then it just hurt me and kicked me off of it. That was me. I'm back, and I can breathe this time. I can breathe. I can breathe. Okay, let's try again. We're going to go back. I guess we'll go to the Hanging City, because that does take us down to close to the middle. So we might be in, around there, and then we can use the signal scope while pretty close to the black. So we're doing that. Let's see if this time my uh, D-pad buttons are fixed okay well let me get out of its gravitational pull first all right let's see here brittle hollow are you gonna let me nope uh is it gonna be this way until i reset the game uh that sucks balls i all right so no autopilot for the rest of the stream absolutely none
wonder why that happens. Maybe it's not a glitch, and it's just like a... Some, something on my end. I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah, I tried to slow down, and once you're going that fast, it's over. <laughs> I kind of need, I kind of need an autopilot now. <gasps> I'm fine now. Oh, now I'm having like controller drift. Oh, it's over. <laughs> Jesus, dude. What is going on? Been having a lot of problems this stream. That seems to be a trend with this dang game. All right, let me, uh, yeah. Okay. Here I go. Whee! Okay, Brittle Hollow. Brittle, Brittle Hollow. Now. Let's try again. It works! I don't know why it wasn't earlier, but we're good. Some match velocity. I don't need to do that. Okay, let's uh, find the hanging city. There it is, done. Okay, let me uh, slow her down. Whoa, there. Bye. Okay, now. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is the spot, and it's pretty close, right? Nope, it's further. Further than ever. Like, I mean, seriously. Well, most of it is height, so it's probably fine. Okay, so I'm going down here. Now it's 273. I don't care. Those are all really far away. All right. Uh, it's where that ladder is, man. That's where I need to be. But it wouldn't let me before. It, like, it just didn't work, like, at all. And if I go in there myself, it's gonna... I'm, I'm gonna kill myself, and then I'm gonna have to slowly die again. From a suffocation. Ugh, but I really want to try that jump again. No, it's a waste of time. Yeah. I, I need to get down there. Okay. Um Damn y'all. Let's try it with the ship. Oh, but the ship's so far now. No, it's it's not that far. Oh, you can stop. You can stop. You're no more. Um let's go back to the ship, I guess. Let's try going into that purple zone with the ship. Cause then if I Um you have more fuel this time. Yeah, but like the amount I can use in my jetpack is still the same. Like duration wise. You see that that like that little bar that goes down. I'm gonna run out there and then like I'll be stuck in the white hole thing with a bunch of fuel and nowhere to go. So then it'll just be a longer time until I can kill myself. I need to get up there. Uh let's see. Does this take me up? No, but it's pretty and I like it. How cool. Anywho, I guess I'll just go up this little spiral. As high as it'll take me. Why? 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 Okay. There we go. Don't. Do not. Do not. Do not. Okay. There we are. No problemo. And there's my ship. Yay. All right, now. Let's 
see here. So, I'm going to try. This is very tricky, probably. Okay, now, now, now. We're going this way. We're going this way. We're going this way. I've been here before. It was, but it was when I was, like, almost out of time. Okay. This is a safe space, right? Yeah, kind of. Okay. We are so close. 45 meters. It's just like right below me. Okay, I just need to get down a little. I don't know how. Um. Ugh. Okay, I need to go down. We're so close. I'm going to find you, dude. I'm going to find you. I'm to find signal nearby. I know, I, I know. I'm right there. I'm going to read these. This is deeply unpleasant. I'm sorry, dude. Made it this far, though. Guess that's the path to focus on, and not how I'll eventually have to get back up that path. Wow, this place sure is something. Looks like the Hanging City is north from here. Wow, and gravity cannon. Detecting oxygen from somewhere below, which is good. I use a lot of my supplies screaming during the trip down from the surface. As soon as I stop dry heaving, I'm going to head further down below, so I'm going to refill my tank. Yeah, South Pole is the observatory. North Pole is the Hanging City. And then you've got uh, whatever the hell. Or is this the Hanging City? I think this is the hang city. This is some shit, and then this is some shit. I don't know, but epic sauce. Okay, um... Hello, hello! Gravity cannon. I know, I've been there, I've been there, and I saw it. Oh, I remember. These are the... Yeah, you can walk on walls like a dang cool guy. We are so close. We are so close. No! Why?! Oh my god. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Okay. It's no issue, really. That's him! Oh my god. Okay, wait, let me read this first. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. I've already been there. It's pretty far away. Sir, you have no idea how long it took me to find you. Not that long, but I'm impatient. So it felt like a long time to me. I like that he's still in his suit. Hello! Oh, you launched! That's great. Great job, you. Wow, I guess that means I've been out here a while, huh? Well, uh, this is Brittle Hollow. You probably knew that. Lots of history here. It's great. What are you doing here? I'm here to see the Hanging City. It's always been my dream to see you with my own four eyes ever since I was a hatchling. An alien race lived in this solar system long before our species even existed, says he. How could I not want to see what their civilization was like? Only well, probably heard the others say, right? I'm afraid of space. Seriously, I'm more surprised than anybody I'm out here. You want to know how I even got this far? I fell. Stripped over a gravity crystal. It's dumb luck I landed somewhere where my little scout says it's halfway stable instead of being sucked into what's below. I've been gauging the stability of the ground around me using my little scout. This seems to be the place with the best service integrity. So I'm just going to stay here until I'm ready to move on. But that's enough about me and my problems. True. You didn't come all the way here to listen to me blather, did you? <laughs> That'd be... Yeah. Okay. Uh, I learned something. Oh, cool. Uh, what is it? On the Know My Escape pod, I uh, saw the Hanging City. This is the Hanging City? Oh, gosh. How was it? Was it amazing? Was it beautiful? Was it scary? The Hanging City is where the Nomai settled permanently on Brittle Hollow. It's their most advanced settlement here. Why they chose to build their most advanced settlement so close to you-know-what is beyond me. Maybe that kind of thing makes sense to a Nomai, though. Maybe they needed the black hole for something. Uh, where should I explore, dude? Where shouldn't you explore? Not the black hole, actually. That's very no. Which is unfortunate because uh, the most exciting stuff is all below the crust, including the Hanging City. That's just to the north. <laughs> I know, dude. We just talked. Do you have Alzheimer's? There's also this big dome on the South Pole called the Southern Observer. Been there as well. You can't get inside from the surface. Trust me, I tried. But it's like the rest of the noise. There's probably a path to beneath the crust somewhere. Good luck with exploring. I like you. You're my favorite character so far. I think it's endearing that you're afraid of space. Uh, okay, I need to find a way to get to the observatory. Well, let's see. South Pole is this way. So, is there something this way? Beneath the crust of the planet that looks like it could lead. Don't suck me in. Stop. Lead to the observatory. 
Is that where the observatory is? This big thing? I think so. So maybe, uh, whatever, blah, 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 whatever. How about that? Okay, well, thanks, man. It's been a joy. Uh, does this, yeah. I was about to say, this doesn't take me down, does it? That would be no, no boiner. Okay, I'm gonna leave if I can. I'm not very good with the Gravitron crystals, but I'm certainly gonna try. I was supposed to, I was not supposed to jump, guys. I was supposed to walk on the wall is what I was supposed to do. All good. All right, see you, pal. Keep playing the same ditty forever. Don't know how it's not boring. Okay, well, I guess I'll go back to my ship. Back to work. Okay, uh, well, I found Mr. Man. Um, did I already go down there? I think I did. There's a, that's also not writing. It's just rings, and who cares? What am I, Sonic the Hedgehog? Yeah, I know. I already spoke. I already spoke to you. Okay. Um, well, let's check our blah, blah, blah. Look at that. Boom. Got one. All that work for one little circle. I did it. Okay. Southern Observatory. Can't get any dessert from the service. They tried. There's probably a path to the cross somewhere. Um, sure, man. Okay. Uh, pff, here I go. <laughs> I don't know, man. All right, here we go. No, uh, no black hole. So let's see here. There's some stuff over here. There's the hanging city. Uh, I think, is this? Yeah, this is where I think the observatory is. Right, 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 right. Let me check. Yes. Okay, so let's go beneath the surface. Look at that. Okay. There's some, uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No worries. Uh, oops. Oh, oops, 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 oops. Okay, there was like a little solid ground right there, but it's almost none, so we're gonna ignore it. Uh, oops, oops, oops. All right, let's, uh, just keep cruising. Okay. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. All right, we're gonna pit stop. Actually, no, I does this thing have infinite fuel? So I'm surprised I haven't run out. I've just been floating around for a while. Okay, I'd like to go up there, but that's hard. All right, here we go. That's fine. We eat those. We eat those. Okay. Oh, that's fine. We eat those. That's me. We eat them. Okay. Look at that, guys. Look at how awesome I am. Look at how... Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm stuck. Oh, no. Uh, where can I land in here? Where... This seems stable. Yeah, I will die instantly, so. I should find some more stable ground. Okay, uh, brr. I don't know where I am. Let's leave. Let's find a different place. See, I wanna get all the way over there, but I'm, I can't figure out how to, oh, we're really wedged in here, y'all. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Sheer force of will. There we go. Ow. All right. Now. Cool. Got, like, stun lock. Is, is, is there really no way I can, like, find a spot to land up in there? Which is clearly where I would like to be. Okay. Let's take a brief pit stop over here. Just for a second.
All done. I was gonna get out and then realize that would provide nothing. I need to find... Okay. How about... This is a brave play. But the sun's about to explode anyway, and we've already discovered a lot today. A lot. We discovered one thing. We've already discovered something today. Sun's about to blow up anyway. We eat those. All right, here I am. There's nothing. There's nothing here. Oh, okay. Gravity crystals. Um, mud of trucking gravity crystals. All right. Boom. Look at this. Oh, there's ghost matter. Uh oh. Okay. So no diet. Nothing that way. Don't. Do not. It's not worth it. Okay. Now there's ghost matter here. I need to avoid it. Me. Uh. uh. There you go. Okay. How high does it go? I want. I uh, can can I take a selfie? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Oh, there I am. Awesome. Okay, can I jump over it? I wonder. Nope, 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 nope. Here we go. You only live once, right? Wow! Made it happen. And here I am. I gotta be quick. Because otherwise I worked so damn hard to get here. And then the sun's just gonna blow up and it's not gonna matter. Okay. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Play jopping. Stupid. Easily dumbest song title I've ever heard in my life. There's a hazard that way. Oh, it's my scout. Okay, you can come back. Good boy. You did awesome. Alright. Um, anything in here? Okay, let's just go over to there. Okay. Oh, there we are, there we are, there we are. I almost missed the most important thing. All right, now I just gotta get up there. Bingo! Bingo! We made it, gamers. Can I fix the door from the other side? For ease of use. Yes. Super convenient. All right, we've done it. Now we never have to do all that again. All right, let's view some of this shit. Uh, uh. Giant's Deep Projection Stone. Take me to another world. This is what people probably felt like when they were doing that reality shifting shit with Harry Potter. Okay, we'll get there eventually. I don't really understand the usefulness of the projection stones, but that's okay. Total playtime so far. Two hours. <laughs> Approximately. We got tornadoes. Sava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant Steep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit. Components pushed down past the current, which prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. An update. It's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant Steep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones Sava typically used to sink components in our orbit. It also uses a rare type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude spire. I'm always showing me your handiwork. I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. Thought it'll be useful if we continue monitoring Giant Steep. Also, I very much wanted to be the model. How how coy. Okay. Awesome. So once we go to Giant Steep, there are rare types of cyclones. Ow. So that's the normal kind. That rotates <laughs> rotates clockwise. This rotates counterclockwise. So if it rotates counterclockwise, it sends you down, 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 down. So if we ever find a cyclone on Giant Steep rotating counterclockwise, we want to capitalize. I am so proud of us that we made it here. I'm awesome. All right, let's. Oh, the sun's about to explode. Okay. Uh. 
What is that? Saturn. Oops. Uh, oh, this is just a model. That's so cute. And then there's Brittle Hollow, I guess. Okay, calm down. And then here's Giant's Deep. Cool. Here's the... I don't know. Is this the Bramble one? I think that's the Bramble one. And then... That's Make It Tiny. Oh. So... Our solar system is tiny. This is the, this is the, uh, what's it called? The eye? Whatever that model was trying to point out. And it's freaking the fuck out. Unable to determine orbit. No signal detected. Matching any known criteria for the eye of the universe. Oh, okay. So it just does not know what's going on. Is this for playing air hockey? <laughs> That's for if you want to break. All right. Let's read this real fast. Oh no, is the sun exploding? Are you kidding me? How should our methods change if we continue to search the entire universe? We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon, so what if we try to find the eye virg visually instead? It's an out of probe. Clever, we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. If you guys solution to that problem, if you spoke with the Ram and Pi the technology they're developing. Find the eye soon, these different devices. Need to build a probe launch mechanism to cover these long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body. Okay. Is that the cannon that fires every time I wake up? Maybe? Giant Steve would be a good, good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. What about the Bramble world? And it's moonless, except for when the quantum moon is visible. Yes. Let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. Bing bong. All right, we did it. Now the sun can explode, I don't care. All right. What's down here? Nothing. Okay. Uh very exciting stuff. What a what a what a day for discovery. What a day for the scientific method. Sun's about to explode. You bet. We're going to watch it happen this time. Let me get back up to the observatory deck. Uh. All right, we got a good view. Unless we get unlucky with the way the planet orbits. Here we are. The sun. The sun. Whoops. Look at how turbulent and upset it is. It's so angry. Here it comes. I guess. Uh, literally me when the teacher says, do your work faster. Literally me when the teacher says do your homework instead of playing Fortnite. Whoops. 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 I'm today's big winner. This was a good day. We found the guy finally, and we got into the observatory finally. We're starting to make things happen. Uh, like Brittle Hollow. 
I am a hundred thousand degrees right now. My legs just touched each other and I thought I'd hit a curling iron. Wagadoogie. Okay, uh, I need to pause because I was checking the weather to see if there's any freaking break like when it cools down today. If your answer was never, you'd be correct. I hate this shit so much. It's going to rain all weekend, though. I'm excited for that. I love the rain, guys. I love the rain. I love the rain. I love the rain. I love the rain. Oh, wait. No, I was going to go ice skating tomorrow. I hope it doesn't rain during ice skating. All right, whatever. When are you going to play Kill It Fire again? Literally never. I'm literally never playing that game again. I am going to upload a video about my one stream doing it, though. I'm not... I'm not playing uh, Kill the Fire again. Didn't he finish Kill the Fire? We played it for like two and a half hours and I beat like three levels out of like a million. But no, I'm, I'm all done. It, it is too much of a stressor in my life. And if you're wondering, yes, I had horrible nightmares. Up I go. I'm the science boy. Take me to science world. Ding dong, tornado simulation, and there's the observatory. I did it. Orbital probe cannon is our next big what the fuck question. Um, nobody decided to construct a probe cannon around Giant Steep. All right, we're going to Giant Steep. Finally, new planet. New planet. What does this mean? Asterisk. It means there's more to explore here. Shit, are you kidding me? Okay, well, I can't leave that. Uh, unfinished. Are you joking? Is there anything else with more to explore? Hanging city. Yeah, that place is pretty big. Okay, I I don't want to leave Brittle Hollow until I've finished all the is more to explore here. So we're actually going to go back to the observatory. Suit up. Here I go! Alright, and I have a little marker with where it is, which is very handy. Autopilot aborted. My fault. Okay, there we go. Guys, which um, star of those is your favorite on the screen? My favorite is the brightest one because it's like me. I'm not like the others. I'm different for real. Oh no, uh, I forget how to roll, but it would be really helpful. Okay, just correct it for the gravity. That's very kind of it. Okay, let's, um, there's where I need to be. Okay, um, smooth, 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 smooth. That's pretty good. I'm getting good at this whole landing business, y'all. Oh, I forgot I need to go over here. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? Are you kidding me? I have to do that shit again? It doesn't say... Ugh, I get that it's a time loop, but that's a damn shame. All right, we got to do all that shit again. We got to get all up in there again. We got to get all up in the observatory again. If y'all can believe it. It's alright. It's alright. It's fine. I'll figure it out. Okay, let me find the large crevice. Damn, I gotta do my epic parkour jumps. Minecraft Giga Clan SMP jumps. Do you want to join the insanity SMP or what? <laughs> Those were my favorite when my TikTok was flooded with those. The like little kid being like, the insanity SMP. I don't remember how I got in. I don't remember. Ugh. Ah. 
Dude, what the freak? I've almost walked a big, beautiful loop around this dang dome. There's the interloper. Interloping all over the place and whatever. Uh, well, shit, man. I don't remember. I know there's somewhere there's a huge crevice that you can go in and, and get get to it, but I'm having trouble. At least the sun is nice and bright and not red. Okay, is that it? Maybe. Look at that. I've almost made a full loop. Am I too close? I remember it being like pretty close to it where the the big crater was. You know what? Oh my god. You know why there's not a crater there and there was? I forgot that the whole point of this planet is that the longer you stay on it, the more like large chunks of rock get taken into the middle by the black hole. So the thing there where where there was a crater, there's not anymore because time resets. So none of it's been taken out by the thing yet. Hey, remember like the critical thinking part of this game that's really important? Let's keep that in mind, eh? Jesus. All right, let's go find a different hole to fly into, I guess. Well, damn. Well, okay, here we are. Here's one. All right. Whee! I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Okay, I'm out. I'm out of fuel. No, this actually works, kind of. Yeah, because I'm... Never mind, it doesn't. I've killed myself. Oh, wait. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Yes, I have. No, I have. That's a shame. I forgot that I have to actually find the platform before just jumping. My brain is on autopilot. All right. Well, now I just have to sit here and wait until I die. Oh, wait. Never mind. I'm, um, never mind. Never mind. I don't know what that was about. I guess I'll explore this rock with nothing on it to pass the time till I die. If you, does it save after each, like, time loop thing? Does anyone who has played this game know that if it saves after each, like, time loop thing? I'll make it back myself. It's getting f literally further away. <laughs> no one say anything. I literally just asked. Yes, it does. Okay, then I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, reset loop. Otherwise, I was just gonna have to slowly drain my oxygen, and that's no fun for anybody. Screw you, the guy said no one say anything. <laughs> just wanna watch me slowly die, which would've made no difference. I'm awake. Good morning, world. Good morning, beautiful world. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. How did I not explore everything? Oh, it's definitely just I had to use that other stone, whatever thing. The other uh, simulation stone or whatever. Wow, this place blows. It's just like grass. Well, like, it's, it's way better than all the other places, but I'm saying, like, why aren't we settled anywhere else? It's, it's pretty right there. There's plenty of pretty places. That's pretty. Very pretty. All right, bye. <laughs> okay. Take me to Super World. Brother. What? Did I do something like... Oh, shit. Did I do something wrong? I hope not. Oh gosh, guys, I hope I didn't mess it all up. Okay, uh, I need to wait and see if a chunk of the ground goes, because I need that to happen. Uh, nothing yet. 
There it goes. All right, okay, okay. Wow, this game makes me nauseous. Okay, let's go over here. Which I like, it's realistic. No, 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 please, please. Just land in the snow, just land in the snow. Nice. Let's go to work. Okay. Uh, I need to figure out where was I where I had that nice clean jump to get down there. Because that was awesome. Alright, well, here's a little... A little peek into my dark twisted mind. So, where was that spot? Over there, I think. I think that's it, right? There are a few, because there's some way down there as well. There's one right there, but that's separate. Um, I could go there to start. It's fine, we eat those. Okay, yes, and now there's something over here. And then I go on the Gravitron crystal, crystal world. Okay, we're, we're, we're making it back, y'all. I gotta make that wacky jump, though, with the ghost matter again, which was really scary. So I'll just do it again. Oh, wait. I could do this. <laughs> I suppose that works as well. ta -dur. I'm awesome. We made it. The laboratory. Okay, so apparently there's more to explore here. Let's put in the other projection stone. Well, we have just the one, but we put it in. Let's put it in this one this time. Oh my god. <laughs> Shit. I didn't know they could do that. All right, well, good. That's fine. We found we found our new content. It's okay. <gasps> this one's long. No way, Daz and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components in orbit. We just want to somehow sink beneath the current. We know of this, yes. Just seen it. We thought it was impossible for anything to sink. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Sava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. I can something pass through the current. My gratitude. For your interesting question. Oh, my gratitude for your interesting question. I recently saw a comma. My brain hallucinated a comma. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals an object might sink below the current. Kanoi, I'm able to. I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads: one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Cannon, and one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. There are two trailheads. How odd. What does this mean? I need to go to the gravity cannon and the tower of all Okay. All right. Uh, we've already read that. Are we good now? I feel like I did everything else. I'm just gonna do this just in case. I think I read all these, though. Done. Okay, okay, okay. Tornado World. That's gonna be my favorite. I love tornadoes. I think they're so cool and fascinating. Therm not being blind challenge. Difficulty impossible. Oh, you're the same person who sent brother. I'm loving your positive energy. It's definitely making me feel good and happy. I guess I'll rebuild the model just in case I missed something about that. 
Because I don't want to come back here again. I want to make sure I've discovered everything that... Oops. Everything there is to discover. Bing bong. Bing bong. And another one. This is the one that makes shit go silly mode. Whee! Okay, and I'll read this. Which I think we have done. Oh god, I don't think I read this. We've learned that the you know, universe. This was in the vessel originally followed the ice signal of the solar system. Oh. No, wait, I don't think I read this. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit an enormous range. The locator we built on the Addle Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. The eye stopped emitting its signal. That's the hypothesis. It was the eye doesn't wish to be found. I can you suggest that the eye's signal called out? No, no, no. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye's story, yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Okay. Ship log updated. Bing, bing, bing! Yay! 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 Okay. I think now I've discovered everything in here, but I'm going to make sure. Do one more lap. One more lap. Yes, this one I have red. All right, need. Okay, got them all right. Yeah, sir. All right, I think we're squared. Please calm down. All right, I think we've done it. Let's get back to our ship somehow. Oh God, I don't know how to do that. Oh, maybe by leaving via the door dummy <laughs> Jesus okay how exciting how exciting is that I'm discovering beautiful things about the world I'm really enjoying this game now that I'm not extremely sick all the time I because I tried playing it last year and it was a time when I didn't really know that I had pots yet so I just thought I had a terrible sinus infection so it was just worse my mental health was just worse and everything was worse and I really wasn't feeling it but now that I'm feeling a lot better I can actually like read and remember things and well not really but like better than I could I don't have wacky headaches all the time I am extremely hot though once I get this temp like next week it'll be a lot colder I'm gonna be so freaking locked in for this stream and my body be more adjusted to the new sleep schedule yeah I made it. All right, let's check out our log. Thanks for the roast. You're doing great. I'm very much enjoying. It was all in good fun. It was all in good fun. I love good fun. We did it. It does have a little exclamation point. I don't know, like... Oh, I just, it just had something I hadn't read yet. All right, no more... Uh, still needs to be explored. Bing bong. Okay, let's... Uh, let's see. Let me just go ahead and... I'll read these again if I need help finding them, remembering they are, or if I, yeah, like anything like that. But for now, I know what I'm focusing on, so I'm just trying to get these dumb icons off my plane. All right, epic sauce. Other things that need to be explored more. Hanging City. Uh, this, let's see, Esker's harmonica music coming from somewhere on Timber Hearth. Okay. So Timber Hearth and then uh, Giant's Deep. Okay, so nothing Brittle Hollow over here. Back to the Hanging City. Let's go back to the Hanging City. Let me put a marker on it. I always forget to do that. I don't want to say always. I played this game for uh, two and a half hours, but I've been forgetting to do that. Otherwise, I'll just be lost. The time. Okay, Hanging City. Whee! I gotta go potty real bad. But there's only about 20 minutes left on our stream time, so I'm gonna hold it like a champion. Okay, Hanging City. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, where's the, like, easiest entrance? I can't recall. I'm sure I'll see it. It's huge. 
that's certainly not it. Uh, I'll see it through here. That hanging city is right there. So I need to go over here. All done. A little rough on the landing, but we sustained no damage. Okay. I don't remember. <sighs> I don't remember how to get down there. I'll just do it manually by falling. Come on, we're low on time, man. Low on time. I'm sorry. Uh, shit. Damn, dude, where are the holes in the planet? I gotta go, man, I gotta go. I gotta go down into the ancient city. Hanging city, I mean. What is ancient city? That's a familiar enough phrase that I know it's from something. Ancient city. Minecraft, that's right. Matthew and I were looking for that shit for months. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I can't find any ways down. Is that a snowball? I thought it was someone rolling a snowball. It was a moon. Please ignore. Okay, I yeah, I'm truly puzzled. All right, well. I'm in the right spot. I'm in the North Pole where the Hanging City is. Okay, we're just going to try flying straight there. Let me see if I can find an entry point. Found one. And here we are. It's just that easy. Oh shit. That was bad. I'm honestly astounded we did not sustain any injuries from that. Because that was not a smooth landing. Alright. There's more to explore here in the hanging city. So let's explore it, shall we? Beautiful. Um, okay. We did all these. Beep bop, beep bop. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of shit down. This place is huge, so there's gonna be more to explore for a while. Uh, black hole forge control. Here we go. Already, we're, we're getting something new here. Uh, black hole horror. <laughs> Do this. What did I do? Oh. Come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. What is it doing? Oh, now if I go up there, can I? Oh, my God. I fell. Stop. Oh, my God. I'm stuck on this damn. Okay. Oh, it's really high up. All right. Uh, I got a long way to go. Wait. Let me, let me check this place out while I'm down here really fast. Because I want to... Should be detected. Thanks, boo. Uh, okay. The Ashtrin project requires a powerful, highly advanced warp core. How should we obtain it? That's it? That's all That's all you have to say? Okay. Um, scrolls. Brilliant. I knew there'd be a scroll somewhere. Bing bong. You can craft a new advanced warp core inspired by the vessel's warp core. Oh, a lot of thoughts sprung from that. Greatest challenge here, I think, is we don't have the design for such a powerful core. I mean, there was an the vessel's core. No, but Poke was a apprentice to Anona, who created the original design, and our black hole forge is adept at crafting simpler cores. I believe I can be of use here, says Poke. The vessel's warp core was created before my time, but Anona explained many of his designs to me. Banning the vessel's warp core and its casing means losing valuable knowledge. This is true. However, it's knowledge we have little hope of recovering. Best to relearn, I think. I think it's a powerful core. Throat really hurts. This is the safest path for our clan. That's a clam. Is the safest path the best one? Goals worth the risk. 
Is it though? I've tried for so long to find something that I and others now believe might be impossible to find. The search for the eye is a futile one. We should choose the option with the least potential for harm. Well, that's no fun. You're no fun, Cassava. F you, freak show. Another scroll. <laughs> let, me, let me see if there's anything else up here before I ditch. Dude, I'm a prophet. I'm a prophet. I feel strange trying to recreate a Noah's warp core without him. At times, it still feels strange to no longer be his very young apprentice. For the black hole forge to be in my care, not his. Hypothesis, this will always feel strange. Okay, freaking young Sheldon. Are you kidding me? Hypothesis, I appreciate the gift. Weirdo. Oops. I have the chance to try this thrilling. Nope. <laughs> Just, it's, to, wow, that was, everything was wrong. To have the chance to try is thrilling. But I don't want to disappoint everyone. I think I can do this, probably. But what if excitement has clouded my assessment of my own abilities? I was wrong in volunteering to... Oh, was I wrong in volunteering to build it? I was born in this star system and never saw a known as warp core without my own three eyes. Three eyes. Weird. Should be four. Or two. I, I only know what he taught me. Yeah, bro. Still, all I can give is my best. I'm having a big bra kick lately. A big bra kick and a big bet kick. Because I think it's hilarious to say them ironically. Oh, I should actually read this. Give my best. Should my best prove insufficient? Then we will find another way to achieve what's needed. Adorable. So cute. All right. I have my twins ladle. Let's... Ah, oh, okay. Well, I got to read my scroll first, if you don't mind. This is cool. Cool music. We could retrieve the warp core from the vessel. This would require a return to Dark Bramble. Plume, my father, said many could know my parish there. My mentor, Coleus... And his old mentor once discovered and studied an anglerfish fossil, an ember twin. Using that knowledge, we could avoid the anglerfish entirely. Remember that anglerfish fossil? We used to play the fossil fish cave when we were children. Adorable. What Mellori and I learned from that fossil would theoretically help us evade the anglerfish. That's so cool that there's an anglerfish. But our hypothesis was never tested on a live specimen. I like that, like, on all these planets, most of your enemies are just kind of natural phenomena and space things. I'm excited to go to ones where there are creatures. The vessel's warp core is broken at, at best. I called those present when the vessel crashed. <sighs> oh, God. Those present when the vessel crashed said it sustained lethal injuries. There's no guaranteed reward for this risk. Even if it no longer functions, the old core could be a valuable blueprint provided we're able to transport it back here. Perhaps we could still repair it. My grandmother told me some random shit, Mama's boy. Sorry. All right. Neat. Um, let's keep going up. Sun's probably about to explode, so chop chop. Here I am. Uh, ball machine. Oh yeah, take me up. What what does down do? Oh, why would I want that? Why would I want that from here? What would that do for me? Oh, I'm running out of fuel. Okay. Um. Oh, and now I can say, hey, go back down whenever I need it. All right, sick, nasty farts, man. So is this where the forge has gone? Did I make it high enough to get to the forge? I mean, I'm pretty high up. I'm too high up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's up there? Literally just water, but I do want to see it with my own two eyes. Oh. Just a way out to the surface. Well, I don't want that. Take me back. I want to I wanna go to where that I, I moved that forge to, man. That's the whole reason I did it. Uh-oh. Okay, we're fine. Um, yeah, what the fudge? Oh, it's a window. Oh, God. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> I thought that was a secret door. Um, okay. The forge thing is all the way over there. So I need to get back up. Um, let's go back to here. So I need to get all the way up to there. Um, do I have to access that from the surface? 
I am assuming that I can go up from here, given how this place is built. Yes, I can climb these walls. Uh, so I will. So this is, I forget what the symbols mean, but that's fine. Oh no. Oh no. Well, what does this do for me? Oh, it's collapsed. It's broken. Okay, so I can't go this way. I can take a pit stop here. Switch over to this one, which will keep going. Nope, it's collapsed. Um, guys, uh, it's broken. <coughs> oh, jeez. My throat hurts. Doing all this talking. God, being an influencer is so hard. Every time I see someone on TikTok try to say that being an influencer is harder than your nine to five job, it makes my skin writhe. Being truly, like, being an influencer, dude. Like, I get there's the argument. It's a lot of work in terms of time. You can easily say, like, Especially huge ones will easily be like technically I never stop working cuz cuz like uh, from the second I wake up I'm, I'm working and blah 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 and I'm working you can't just say my Being influencer is harder than a nine-to-five because I spend more time working You realize there's other shit going on besides just time spent for instance I've just spent three hours working which has consisted of me playing outer wilds <laughs> and having a great time the fact that when you're an influencer, 90% of the time, you're not expected to be anywhere. The fact that you can be mid work and then just be like, I'm hungry. I'm gonna go get a snack or like, ah, I'm gonna drive out and get some McDonald's. Like you have complete freedom over your time. If you're working a nine to five, like a retail job or something, you don't, you have to show up, be there at specific times. And for that set time, you're basically not a person. Like, you don't have freedom. You just do what you're told. In fact, people are like, well, I'm a YouTuber and I spend hours a day editing videos. Dude, seriously? Like, yeah, it's hard work in terms of time. But, like, man. I'm not trying to, like, minimize people who have, like, mental health problems. Because that's, that's real. But don't say it's hard. Don't try to be like, I work harder than you. It's like, dude, come on. People work at the mines. Exactly. Like I'm, I'm sitting at my freaking computer desk. What is the eye of the universe? I don't know, man. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. Okay, cool. The eye is older than this universe. Imagine how much it could teach us. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's back. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. That'd be cool. I suppose the eye is a more advanced being. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? I suppose it a relic of the universe unimaginably hot and dense. I suppose the universe is older than assumed. What's the eye's signal? Stop talking about suppose. Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signals a call. Read the intended audience. The signals the eye's voice. Speaks the language we don't yet know. Tell me what to suppose. Oh, never mind. Maybe this signals the eye's attempt at expressing itself. Of note, from the signal, we what if I'm the center of the universe? <laughs> That's the big twist of the game. The world does revolve around you. Of note, from the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age. 14. So it is still a minor, guys. So hands off. All right. We were able to determine the eye's approximate age by the fact that Dream made advances at it. By welcomed, nope, be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to this star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye's signal in our travels. We followed it here to find its source. What we know is this, the source of the signal, which we have chosen to call him the eye of the universe is older than the universe itself. Oh my goodness. What if it's just like a dude playing a piccolo? Enter and open your mind to its possibilities. Okay, boy. Sorry, guys. I'm on a huge bra kick. I'm trying to hold it back, but I can only hope to contain it. This is like the longest I've ever gone without it being like, okay, you're done. <laughs> the sun explodes. I guess because I've been so much, spending so much time reading text. Let me make sure I'm not missing something on this first floor. Okay, I think I'm good. Take me up. Take me up. More uh, graffiti. I know this is Solana. I no longer believe as I did as a child on Ember Twin. The eye of the universe. Oh, it's forgot time stops when you're reading text. That's why. Which is to harm us. We may not want to be found either. Terrible circumstances of our arrival here were most certainly exactly that a circumstance. 
I suspect imagining we are special to the eye in some way is wishful thinking. The eye might have called out to any sentient species. Or I might not have been calling out at all. And that my ancestors heard the eye signal holds no great deep meaning. This wouldn't be so bad, I think. In fact, the eye may not have wishes at all. Well, what if it wants, like, I don't know, PS5. Maybe it wants to play 2K. I've been, I've been playing a lot of 2K. That game is one of the worst made games I've ever played, and it's a lot of fun. Can't stop playing it. Here I go. Whee! Nothing over here. Okay. Uh, is this school that I am in right now? Oh, this is scary, y'all. I don't want to fall and hurt myself. Twist my ankle. Uh, there's a lot of shit happening. I want to get to the forge, man. I want to get to it. It's over there. It's up there. I've already been here before. Let's go back over here. Oh, no. Music ended. That's a bad sign. Well. That's it. Out of time. Well, this has been very productive. I couldn't, I couldn't get up there. <laughs> I think I need to go back to the surface. I think that's truly what I need to do. I think it gave me a way to go to the surface, and then I ignored it. Why is it broken, dude? I need to be there. What if I... Okay. 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 <laughs> I try to get creative. All right, well... This was good. This was very good. This was very good, and I'm proud of... Please stop. Oh, we almost made that happen. I'm almost out of fuel. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can I circumvent? If I... Dude, that might be doable. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm taking matters into my own hands. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> that was really cool. Now I'm at the white hole. Well, I'm further away from it. So it doesn't take longer. Whoa. What is that? Well, I wish I could have explored this. This is super cool. All right. See it. Whee! <laughs> Neat. All right, that was big. That was a big burst of, of discovery there. I'm sure there's still plenty to explore in the uh, Hanging City because that place is enormous, but I think we did a good job. So we'll go back there. We need to get to the surface and try to explore that forge. There's the gravity. It's totally that. It's the probe cannon thing launching or like the gravity something cannon. They like did that to try and find the eye of the universe and accidentally stuck me in a time loop. Why? Okay. So what I'm wondering is the fact that specifically I am in this and the only one who is noticing this time loop means that clearly I am the most important man in the universe. There's beast in my dinner. That was delicious. Good job. Great work. What am I going to have for dinner? I have no idea. I've been cooking a lot. I might treat myself to going out for food. Aw, white. Let's see. New stuff. The vessel. Anglerfish fought. That's it? After all that, that's all you're going to give me? Oh, there's... Oh, my God. The, there's more to explore here is gone. We did it. That's a great ending spot for this stream. We have, like, very few, like, loose threads that were... Well, we have a million loose threads. We have very few loose threads of the ones we were trying to angle at. This is awesome. Okay, so I think we're going to go to Giant's Deep now. Next stream. Next stream, we're going we're gonna to go to Giant's Deep. I'm sure there's more to do in Brittle Hollow, but we've hit it hard, and I want to see a new world. 
So we're going to Giant's Deep to, uh, next week. I'll be back on Sunday for our first Spirit Fair stream. I don't know anything about the game, so please don't spoil it. Keep it, keep it new and interesting. All right, this is uh, Gamer Thomas signing off. I am sweating and and drenched in sad. Drenched and sad. Especially sad that the first like hour of this stream is going to be unlistenable. That is really gutting. But it was fun, and I appreciate you, and I'm leaving. Love you.